welcome to my vegan kitchen. I'm Michelle. All right, I'm not in my vegan kitchen. I am in Mexico. So guess what? We're gonna be making tacos. Of course, we're gonna be making chickpea tacos in my Airbnb kitchen. Come with me, I'm gonna do it now. and share with you guys because if you guys know me I like to cook so even though I'm on vacation I'm not gonna go out and eat all the time because I have a sensitive stomach so went to the grocery store and I grabbed a few things so one of the things I'm gonna make is tacos obviously but I wanted to share with you guys I love stepping out of the states and going to other countries because the fruit selection is on match take a look at this we went to the grocery store and I made sure I grabbed all of this. Look at this. We have limes, tomatoes, mangoes, oranges. We got some um, plants over there. And of course, my favorite, guava. Look how much guava we have in here. But even being in the grocery store, there was limited amount of vegan options for me to buy. But I used my little tink, my little think tank. And I was like, you know what, Michelle, you got to come up with something. Protein is protein. Beans are protein. Chickpeas is top of the line in protein. Make some tacos. Just make some chickpea tacos. So I'm going to show you how easy it is to make these chickpea tacos. All right? Okay. Come with me. All right. So I went to the store and I got some chickpeas or garbanzo beans. I got the dried kind. And all I did, I took my dried chickpeas. I put them in a pot overnight in just some water and let them soak just to kind of soften them up. Then I boiled them. I cooked them basically until they were soft. So this is what my cooked chickpeas look like. Aren't they beautiful? You know what I've learned? I And if you've watched my videos, my prior videos, you'll notice I always bust out a can of chickpeas, right? You know, sometimes you learn new things. And yes, I've used dried before, but I've usually used dried chickpeas to make like um, falafels or something like that. I never really use dried chickpeas. I actually like it a lot better. So I learned something new. I love how big and juicy they came out. I love that it wasn't in a can and I love that I was able to control my salt. All right guys, so at the grocery store, I picked up a few things, right? Bell peppers, I got, um, red onion, I got some garlic, I got some um, pepper just in case, you know, I like my food spicy. So, you know, just in case I may need to spice things up. I also just got some adobo. I kind of should have brought my own seasoning with me because that wouldn't have been a problem. I'm just traveling, right? I could bring dry goods with me. I should have brought my vegan kitchen all purpose seasoning. Link below if you want to purchase. And I got some barbecue sauce. All right. I don't have a cutting board and I got these dull ass knives. So we're gonna, we're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out because like I said, I gotta cook, I gotta eat. So I'm gonna dice these up. But before I did do that, oh, and I also got some avocado oil. Yes, I went and I got some avocado oil and I'm so hurt because I can't bring this back with me. This I can't bring through customs. So I'm a little hurt with that. I'm going to have to leave this for the next renter of this Airbnb. So in my skillet, and I got this cute little stove here, come on in. I'm going to add some of this avocado oil, just a little bit. All right. We're going to get that heated up. And then, while that heats up, let me grab my garbanzo beans or my chickpeas. And I'm gonna place that right in the pot. And we're gonna get that cooking. Yes, they don't even have a spoon, so I'm gonna use a spatula. You gotta make it work, right guys? So I'm gonna get that nice and just kinda like browned a little bit, cooking up. We're gonna cut these up. And like I said, I don't have a cutting board, so we're gonna use this plate. And we're just gonna cut through. But like I was saying, I love to buy fresh produce in um, outside of the US because most places don't use pesticides, only the US. So 
you know, I feel good that this is truly organic. And you know what I thought this knife was dull? I guess my little sharpening technique. Y'all from the Caribbean, y'all know how it goes down. I remember my dad used to sharpen a knife like this. So I guess that actually works. All right, let's dice these up. All right, so I got my pepper, my onion, and some garlic chop. We're gonna, I'm not gonna use all of it. I'm probably gonna use all of the garlic though, because I want the flavor. So it, I wish you guys were in this kitchen right now. If you could smell this, this smells so good. What I've noticed also, I could smell the peppers. Usually at home, I can't smell the peppers. I, I mean, I can see the colors, but this is so fragrant. Oh my God, it smells so good. All right, we're gonna get that many of them there, and then we're gonna get this like cooked down and sauteed. Look how pretty that looks. Like these chickpeas are just, Wonderful. And for those of you who are going to leave me comments and be like, yeah, girl, you just needed to stop using those pins. Thank you. Thank you. Because I've discovered something new. I really love the look of these. Um, I tasted them already. The texture is really good. This doesn't compare to canned chickpeas at all. So I learned something new on my trip. When you're forced, I think that's when you uh, discover new things. All right, we're gonna let this saute down a little bit because I do want the peppers and the onions and the garlic to soften up a lot because we're gonna make a, kind of like a little bit more of a gravy type. We don't want it as hard as this. You didn't see that, guys. Right, my spatula just broke. I tell you, and you know, it's hard to buy things that you know you're not gonna use again. I need to learn. I'm gonna learn from this. I'm so used to staying in a hotel room and not an Airbnb. The next time I know I'm coming to an Airbnb, I'm gonna bring my own utensils, because this, this is not vibing. It's not vibing. So come in, let me show you what this looks like. So we allowed the peppers and the garlic and the onions, and you see how the garbanzo beans or the chickpeas, they got like a little bit scorched. That is how we want it, it is perfect. So I went out and I did grab some barbecue sauce. This is a little different than what I'm used to. You know I'm used to my Korean barbecue sauce, but this one said it was sweet and spicy. So that kind of, to me, sounds like the same kind of flavor. I tasted it and it's a little on the spicy side. Whatever kind of barbecue sauce you have, whether it's Korean barbecue sauce or something like this, that's what you're gonna add to it now. So you just go ahead and just add as much sauce as you like. All right, and we're gonna let that caramelize a little bit. We're gonna try to get out some of that liquid and get it more, get it a little thicker. Another thing I should mention, guys, I don't cook on electric stove, so this right here is very new for me. This whole electric stove thing, oh my God. Now I understand, you know, again, it gives me empathy for me to understand when I make the recipe in my own kitchen that some of you guys actually have electric stove and maybe I should think about that when I make the recipe. So I'm learning a whole lot here, guys. I'm learning a whole lot. This is looking good. This is looking good. Come in, come in, come see. I want you right in this kitchen with me. Look at that. It's coming along. It's coming creamy. It's coming nice. I know it's hot, but I'm going to taste one of these. Spicy. It's good. It's gonna be good in a taco. I should have probably done it this way all this time instead of trying to use this broken spatula. Ah oh, yeah. Oh yeah. I'm like a real chef now. Let me open that. Look, I didn't use one. Yeah. I'll shoot. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, let's put it on the side and let's get these tortillas heated up. So let's bust this open. Let's get this pack open. Of course, it's not gonna be easy for me to open. All right, so while these are heating up, I thought since I have all this pineapple and I have mangoes, let's make a mango salsa. Mango pineapple, mango pineapple salsa. All right, let's get these in the pan and get them warm. Let's start cutting this mango up. Look how pretty that mango is. Isn't that crazy? I wish I had a cutting board, but uh, we're just gonna have to figure it out, right? All right, let's get this in here. I really sharpened these knives. I'm so impressed with myself. Oh my God. All cut up and that's how I do it. Oh, let's get this piece right here. Oh gosh, it's so soft. Jesus. Lord, if 
y'all could taste this, oh my God, it's so good. This is how a mango should be. Nice and soft and bright. All right, let's get this in here. All right, let me finish up this salsa and then we can taste these tacos. We can plate it up and then taste it. Let me show you what I did so far. So I made the mango salsa. I put pineapple, mango, red onions. I put some um, tahini, a lime. I squeeze a lime and just mix that up and just let that sit and marinate. And that is our mango salsa. I'm gonna put that on the side. I'm continuing to heat through on these tortillas and I'm gonna cut up this avocado. Let's see what the Mexican avocado is, the one that actually, when we're here, what it comes out to be. Let's get this plate over here and let's bust this open. Look how pretty. This is perfect. All right, let me get it on the plate and we're gonna have that with our tacos. All right, guys. I'm done. I am done. All right. That that, that wasn't so bad. I, I'm I'm being. I'm just. I'm too drama. I'm a drama queen. That it wasn't too bad. But I'm trying to get it done so we don't lose this light. Cause y'all saw this unit. It's beautiful on this side. Take a swing around so they can see. It's beautiful on this side. It's like being in the jungle. It's bright. The ceilings are really high. But there's no light over here for filming. So you know that's why I'm trying to rush and get this this video done and get dinner on the table so we can eat. All right, so here we go. My barbecue chickpeas, beautiful. I got some lettuce, tomato, and avocado. My mango salsa, and we have some tortillas right here. So let's make a taco. All right, I'm gonna get my, some chickpeas in here. Let me grab some cool tomatoes. This chickpeas is kind of spicy. I'm just gonna grab some lettuce, just a few pieces right there. Let's get a piece of avocado, a nice juicy piece right there, and a little bit of mango salsa. Now you guys don't have to put the mango salsa on it, but I like the sweet with the spicy. It tones it down a little bit. All right, guys, you ready? It's tasting time. It's Michelle's favorite part. All right, here we go. Get it close so they could, so they could taste it with me. All right, this little part is hanging down. All right, here we go. Mm hmm Let me chew. That's what I'm talking about, guys. This is really good. The chickpeas are nice and spicy. And the, the, the texture is cooked perfectly. So I think from now on, you guys are gonna see me go to dry chickpeas. It's spicy, like I said, but the, the lettuce and the tomato pulls it down and adds a nice little tang to it. And the mango, perfect with the uh, pineapple and that aids in digestion. So this is a very nutritious meal that I made right here in my Airbnb, guys. So if I could do it, you could do it. You don't have to go out every single night. It's great to just try to make, you know, nutritious meals just to keep yourself balanced, especially if you're on like your health journey. You know, going out every night could just throw all that work you did right down the tubes. Try to make your own meal. Guys, thank you so much for spending time, not in my vegan kitchen, but in my vegan kitchen, in my Airbnb in Tulum, Mexico. Thanks again. Don't forget to subscribe. Click on the link. Don't forget to tap on the bell so you get all the reminders when I come out with new videos. And guys, I'll see you again. Thanks again for joining me. See you guys next week. Bye. Let me finish up with these tacos.